Hello everyone and today I will show you how to patch your Windows 10 to apply custom theme. Um, like you see I have a Windows 10 theme and it's all Windows 10 and we will, we will go from this to this. Uh, this is HUD machine custom theme for Windows 10 and it's made by Mr. Grimm. All links and credits are in the description below. Uh, first of all, you need to know which version of your Windows you have. Uh, like you see, there is a four versions of the Windows 10. Uh, first, you have a Windows 10 technical preview, I think so, and then goes uh, version 1, 2, 3 and 4. I have a version 1703 creators update. And this theme, this custom theme right here is only for this versions, this version of 1703 creators update. I don't think that will work on older version of the Windows. Uh, to see which version of your Windows you have, open the start menu and just type about, about my PC and go here, system settings. And here it says version 1703 Windows 10 Professional. So this is the latest version of the Windows 10. And let's start. Uh, here uh, I want to show you the uxstyle.com is the site that you can download a patch for only a technical preview of Windows 10. So this uh, link here is only for technical preview. So I want to start okay uh, in description below you will have a links to these patches and application and the team of course and first what you're gonna do you will need uh, to download ultra UX team patcher 3.2.2 uh, open it go next click I accept the terms go next I agreed and like you see I have already patched these three files so what you need to do you need to click install and of course you need to restart your PC after after you restart your PC uh, you need to install team signature bypass click next click I accept, click next, click next, uh, like you see I have already installed this, click yes and here check this box, click next, click install. After that uh, you can install start this back plus plus. Ok install for me, go install. Uh, this is the version only for one month. Uh, you can activate it. Uh, it's cost only three dollars. Uh, that is really cheap. I will close this, and like you see, I have a start menu, same as Windows 7, and this is really cool feature on Windows 10. So go back to this folder. Uh, we can have one more step to do, or we have more than one actually. Uh, we have old new explorer uh, this is the application that will hide your ribbon so when you open this uh, select this box here and uncheck this box here and leave this style as default and click install uh, after install uh, you can restart your computer uh, that will be that will be great if you restart or log off your computer every time when you apply one of these applications. Uh, this is the ownership. If you need a ownership, click yes, click OK. And like you see on Windows or any folder, I can take ownership, and that is really cool feature. And the last last application that we need to apply is Win Arrow Tweaker. Uh, this is a really cool application. I will show you right now. Click next. Uh, click next, accept, click next, click next, click next, uh, click next, and then click install. After installation, uh, open the Win Arrow Tweaker. And here on the left side, you have a many features you can turn on. 
in Windows 10. Uh, these features are usually from Windows 7 or Windows 8 that you can have on Windows 10. Uh, you can check by yourself what you can add or disable. Uh, this is really great application and I will leave all credits in the description below. And the next step, go to the Hot Machine Blue for Windows 10, Creators Update. Uh, first of all, do not go to the team, go to the extras. This is really important to do, so uh, follow me very carefully. Here, there is a folder, Disable Immersive Context Menu. Open this and click on Disable Immersive Context Menu. Go to right click and click Merge. Click Yes. Click OK and uh, go back and there is a system metrics. Open this and select HUD machine system metrics. Go to merge, click yes, click OK. And these uh, uh, these files have been added to your systems. Uh, this is really important to do if you want to this team works uh, really completely. Uh, go back. And here's the team folder. Copy all of them and go to the teams shortcut and paste them here. Okay. Okay, let's go to apply the team. Go to the teams and you should have you should have all these teams like me. I will select HUD machine blue. And now you can see that my start menu and taskbar are the same as default. So what you need to do, you go to properties here, go to appearance and select this. Uh, click OK. Uh, you need to do the same with the start menu. Uh, OK, uh, that's great. Uh, like you see, I have a custom menu and custom taskbar from HUD machine team. And now how to change this start or it's very simply go to the Windows 10, uh, HUD machine blue for Windows 10, go to the team, go to HUD machine blue, start button, you have dark or white, I will choose dark and copy this HUD machine blue start or copy that, paste it. Mm, paste it here and then go to properties and go to appearance and here uh, you have you will have a green plus click on that and just choose your hot machine blue start or select it click OK and that's it you have done all the job also there is a lot of the option that you can configure in in the start menu plus plus and that's it uh, that's how you can apply a custom team on Windows 10 uh, it requires uh, a little bit more application and patch than the Windows 7 and here in the HUD you have a lot of the extras you have a black glass you have a context menu shortcuts you have a system clock, system transparency and task manager. And that's it everyone. Uh, that's how you can patch and install custom team on your Windows 7. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.